What's going on with a big dog? Proverbs gaming up in the stream, starting off. All right, my dude. What's love to you, man? Just thanking God this morning or evening and afternoon for everybody knows different time zones, you know. <clears throat> yeah. How you doing, bruh? Sometimes you don't know what to do. You wait on God and allow him to prevail. Yeah, that's what we do. We allow God to prevail. So uh, that's what I'm doing now. So much uh, has hit the fan within the last uh, weeks. You know, within this, actually within this last week and a half. But, you know, God keeping me afloat. So I thank God for that, you know. You can never talk about God too much. And don't get into your uh, your own situations to where you feel like, you know, you can't talk about how good God is. Because anytime you feel like that, you need to check on a few things of your very own because uh, you should always be able to speak proudly of what the Lord uh, do for us on a daily basis. I know a lot of people give other people credit for it or whatever, but you know, hey, as long as you believe in some, some type of uh, other higher power, you know what I mean? I truly thank God. I don't care what nobody say, uh, uh, what, what nobody else do. I truly thank God. So I will say that off the bat, you know, and, um, you know, you got to put God first. He's a jealous guy. You can't put nothing before him. You know, you can't, uh, you know, make your own self-righteous stuff work. It will never work. <laughs> God's will will be done no matter what you say and how well you say it. His will will be done. And I'm telling you like this, either it's going to be done through you or God will remove you completely and you somebody else. He got plenty of people down. Look how many people in this world. Why do he need you? He don't. <laughs> but if God is able to utilize you, you should be honored and privileged that you are being able to be utilized by high power. One of actually the highest power. So I thank God for the position that he put me in. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on, like a hurricane in, in my life or whatever the case is. But God has also has shown me my future and where he already is going to, where I'm going to be at if I just hold off. You know what I mean? If I just hold out, he already showed me where he going, where he got me at. So I don't have to sit up here and, and worry about this or that or worry about my current situations now. When he already showed me I got the victory, he already told me I got the victory. So we started to stream off a little different today. Maybe something that uh, becomes the part of the norm of Fire Five Ninety Five Seventeen's channel. Because we got to give praise to God first and foremost before we start anything. And if you don't know that, then I don't know what to tell you. Or if you're against that, then, hey, this is not the channel for you. I'll tell you that right now. I'm all about God. I don't care how I talk, what I do. I'm not perfect. I'm striving for to be better, you know, uh, more Christ-like. But uh, it's a work in progress, man. I daily bread. You have to die daily. You have to die daily. So I can't, you know what I'm saying, uh, my corner flesh wore out the things of, you know, saying of not of God, which is iniquity of God, iniquity of God, I mean, to say. But, you know, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I just thank God, man. I really do. I thank God for where he got me at now because it allowed me to see him more and it allowed me to see how much I need him, how much we all really need him, whether you see it or not, we all need him, 100%. It don't matter what you do in life or how you do it. What matters is your results. God can send a drunk to you. He can send a crackhead to you to give you the message that you need to pull you out of the pit that you're in. You know, so it don't matter who, who gave it to you. What matters is, you know, it came from God. He's the one that orchestrates these things. So, 
Just bear that in mind, man. You got to bear that in mind. I'm never too good to where I can't talk about God. You know? I will never get there. That would not be your boy. Under no circumstance, I'm always going to talk about God. Anytime I feel the need to talk about him, I'm going to talk about him. Because he's real. If you don't know he's real, you need to be born again. You got to seek to save the souls that's which is lost. That's the main mission. And if all of the religious people got on board with that, this world would be so messed up the way it is now. But you got to bring God's love back to the fold. 100%. So I thank God. I thank God. God is good all the time. 100%. So I just really want to share that with you all and hopefully it reached somebody. You know, where they can spread the word as well. Because it don't matter what state you in. You can't say you worship somebody and you don't believe in that person or spirit or high power. You know what I mean? If you say you worship God, then you should be able to believe in God and know God got your best interest at heart and he's going to deliver you from these situations that you go through. When you really believe. And the difference between believing and knowing. You can believe something to be true, but you just believe it to be true, which means you're hoping it to be true. But when you uh, know it to be true, can nobody shake you off of that? So let me just throw this in there real quick. Real quick. If I believe that God is going to deliver me from everything that I'm going through that I don't want to go through, my finances, uh, the kids, situations, like whatever I'm going through in life, whether it's me trying to find a new job or a job or me just trying to provide for my family. If I believe God will do those things, then I'm going to believe it until I feel that he can't. All right. Talking to somebody here. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. But that's my belief. I believe God can do these things, but I have not one once said that I know God can do these things. See, that's the difference between believing and knowing. I can believe all day, but then me believing is not really having that faith. You know what I'm saying? Me really having that discerned power to know this is God versus the devil. You know what I mean? So now anybody could pretty much shake me off of that belief by showing me something that I uh, assume to be better than what I believe in. So they saying, oh, I, if I believe that God is going to give me a job, but then you got Marcus over here to my right saying, look, man, don't believe in God will give you a job. I got a job for you. All you got to do is just believe in Marcus now. And I got the job for you. Now, Marcus with the job in his hand, and I see the job that he got in his hand. I was like, okay, well, maybe Marcus is right. I could be easily uh, uh, persuaded to deviate from what I believe in to what I can see right now. I believe in that God will, will give me a job, but Marcus got this job right here in his hand. Now, <laughs> show you again, but the difference between believing and knowing, real quick. So I believe that God could give me this job, but Marcus got this job. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna take my belief. I'm gonna say, you know what? That maybe that ain't all what I thought it was hyped up to be. So now I'm gonna go with Marcus. Marcus got the job in his hand. He got the job right here ready for me. So come on, Marcus. Give me the job, Marcus. Now I can say Marcus gave me this job. But when you know how God works, me believing something and me knowing something is two different things. Because when you believe something, you can be knocked off your grounds. But when you know something, can't nobody knock you off of that. I don't care what they say, how they, or what they do, they cannot knock you off of that. If you know your name is Frank then can nobody tell you that your name ain't Frank? I don't care how many names they give you. You're going to go back to, no, nah, that ain't my name. My name is Frank. Because you know this is your name. So can nobody shake you off of that? You'll be able to stand on it firm to say, my name is Frank. No matter who say it, even if the president say it, you can better say, no, my name is Frank. You know what I mean? Because you know this. But if you believe your name is Frank, then maybe they tell you, well, you know, actually you are uh, a David. Now you may start thinking like, well, wait a minute. Am I a David? Was I really born a David? You know what I mean? Like, 
you start questioning things, which means you're not stirring on it. So the difference between between uh, believing and knowing. So when you know God, you ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to second guess or second question anything because you know God is going to prevail. His will will be done no matter who wanted to be done or not. His will will be done 100%. <clears throat> so that's what I live for. And I know God. I don't believe in God. I know God. He's done too many good things for me already. He's the reason why I'm at. I'm where I'm at right now. And I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be this high up. But he's the reason that I am where I am. I'm at. You know what I mean? God is the reason. When you see me, you, you should. I don't like. I said again. I don't care how I talk. My cursing. I, I never said I was perfect. I would never be perfect. So if you're looking for perfection, you need to go. You need to go be in heaven, because perfection is only in heaven. They ain't down here in this world, and nobody down here perfect. They're gonna do everything according to God. So, get that out your mind. But I'm striving to be better every day, every day. And God has shown me where I will be if I just hold on. If I hold on, He showed me where I will be. And it's a nice place. It's a nice spot. It's a nice position. You know, not just for me, but for my family too. So I truly thank God, man. I truly thank God. And we all need to give praises to God. You know what I mean? Because we won't be where we're at. And if you think you're in a very bad spot right now, just know this. It could always be much worse than what it is. Just know that. Just know that. I don't care how bad you think you're doing right now. You could not have nothing. But just know, not having nothing could also be worse than what it is. You know, because I'm pretty sure you're walking around. You're moving your hands. You know what I mean? What if you had feet to walk around in? What if you had hands to move? It could always be much worse. Let's just say you don't have hands, you don't have feet. You got a beating heart, don't you? It could always be much worse. You know, so... Just bear that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to go ahead and share that real quick before we get off into this uh, patrol that I'm about to do here today. But, you know, I had to get that off my chest. And Proverbs Gaming, man, I, again, bro, I really appreciate all the love and support, man. And you really are a friend indeed. I know we have our ups and downs, but that's any friendship, for real, though. You know what I mean? So, I truly thank God for Proverbs Gaming. I really do. I really do. 100%. And uh, he's the only one throughout this whole gaming experience of, of my time that I can actually say that about. Yep, only one. Because he live up to what he what he talk about. You know, so we wanted to go ahead and share that real quick. We'll be getting started here soon. Um... But let's give a, a moment just to thank God, man. Just to praise God. Because you gotta if you if your mission is not to seek to save the soul which is lost, what are you doing? We should be trying to help people, man, bring people to God. Cause we know God works. All this other stuff down here don't work. Drugs don't work. Sex don't work. What? Temporarily? Drugs, sex, and all this other stuff your corner flesh may war after. Only works temporarily, but God is eternity. Let me get with the eternity stuff. You know what I mean? Let me get with God. You know, I want I don't want nothing temporarily. I want something eternity. And God offers eternity. So let me get with that. And you all should get with that. You know, so let's just thank God, man. Let's just thank God for things being as well off as they are. And, you know, spread the word, man. Spread the word. My my main mission right now is to seek to save the souls that which is lost. So even if God don't allow somebody, me to attract somebody to become born again of God, Lord, please give that, allow, you know, give somebody else the opportunity to be able to attract somebody to become born again. That's what it's all about, man. Helping others. And bringing them into the know and get them out of the belief. 
But when you stop believing and you become in the know, you have a lot more to stand on. And won't, no, won't nobody be able to uh, knock you down off of that. Indeed. And again, I know somebody probably said, well, what are you drinking? First of all, like I said, I ain't perfect. I'm drinking what I always drink. But even in the midst of that, I can still talk about God. I can still talk about what I know. Know that. I ain't going to be no coward unless somebody shame me out of talking about what I know. That's what I'm not going to be. And that's what I'm not going to do. So, thank God while you can, man. If you look at this world as a whole, and you see the destruction and all that stuff that's happening around us. Some things is even within us. You 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 get with God. <clears throat> Cause he's gonna be the only way out. Know that he's gonna be the only way out. He is the only way out. I ain't gonna say he's gonna be the only way out, but he is the only way out. We just gotta get back to loving each other, man, with God's love. All this hate stuff, man, is just that ain't of God. That ain't of God at all. So, you know, I feel pretty good when I talk about God, man, and where he brought me from. He brought me. He brought me a mighty long way. I'm nothing like I used to be. Born Again has really brought me out. You know, Born Again has really taught me, shaped me, molded me, rearranged me. And really developed me into the young man I am today. And everything that I have is only because of the grace of God. Nothing of my own doing. I didn't marry nothing. I can't marry nothing. You know what I mean? God's grace is sufficient. So, I'm truly thankful you all. I really am. I'm truly thankful. Yeah. He brought me this for. He brought me this for. And I thank him. So for some of you all that are not cowards, throw a thank, thank you, Lord, in the chat. You know, praise God in the chat. Or comment, even if it's on the YouTube later after this stream. Just throw it in the chat. You ain't a coward. And, and you know God like I know God. You know what I mean? But I truly thank God. I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it weren't for God. Just know that. There you go, Proverbs. My man, there you go. But I wouldn't be where I'm at today, man. I truly thank God. He got me this far. And he ain't going to bring me this far to leave me. No, he won't. I ain't going to let you tell me that. I'm not going to let you tell me that. He ain't going to bring me this far to leave me. You know, everything that I stand in need of and... Even the ones that, that's close to me, that's tied into me, he's going to help them too. You watch. But I got to get me right. It starts with me. All right. Let's get this show on the road. What y'all say? We get this show on the road, man. That's, uh, man, I, I can sit and talk about God and, and his goodness all day for the rest of my life and still will never get done with it because that's how good he's been to me. You know, you've been good. And I truly thank God. You know, sometimes you start off, you know, with, with one thing and, and God will take you another way. Man, my stream post been, I was supposed to just hit the start soon and jump right into the stream. I got everything already set up. I'm, I'm actually looking at it right now. <coughs> How I'm about to start the stream up. I've been looking at it the whole time. But God wanted me to go this way with it. So this is where we're going. And this is where we went. So this is where we at. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm, I'm learning to follow God, man. You know, follow and trust his discretion. So where no matter how bad things may seem in your life, if you trust God, just trust in him. That's all you got to do is trust in him. Let me tell you something. If somebody told you right now that you could get a million dollars if you lick an ice pole or whatever, you get a ton of stuff, right? I guarantee you, man, that pole would have so many tongues stuck on it because everybody would have tried it for that million dollars. 
But if I could tell you that you could get abundance of wealth, love, happiness, and all those good things, joy and peace, if you just trust God, how many of y'all willing to do that? You know what I mean? And then I want you to take a look at your thought process when I say that. So if you got the million dollars right here up front, you willing to do whatever for it because you can see that million dollars, right? So now that I got this million dollars right here in my face, all I gotta do is lick this pole right over here. Million dollars here, the pole is here. I'm gonna lick that pole and I'm gonna see if I get this million dollars. But then they tell you, you have to detach your tongue without it being injured at all, right? No frostbites, no nothing. Now you're in a little bit of a pickle. But see, God is a lot more easier than that. All he's telling you to do, you can have way more than this million. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. It's not even been to reveal the heart of man to know the, what God can do for you. But all he's telling you to do is just trust in him. So all you got to do is trust in him. You know what I mean? Born again is a, is a, is a transformation that takes place over in the inside of you. That God will prevail. And he will transform your whole life. It's like, it's like you, you see these uh, superheroes and all, with all this power that they don't know how to control when they first get it. That's what born again is. It's having a bunch of power that you don't know how to control when you first get it. But your controlling of that power comes with the teaching of the pastor that God sent you to. For you, for you to be even be able to obtain born again. Proverbs uh, post something in the chat. Let's go ahead and read it. God's love for us is beyond comprehension. He cares for each and every one of us with a depth that can hardly uh, fathom, that we can hardly fathom. His grace and forgiveness are ever present, guiding us through the darkness, the darkest of time, offering us hope and salvation. 100%. That sounds like something right out the Bible, bro. Right? That seems like something out of the scripture or something. Galatians 6 through 8. Well, Galatians chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. But he that sowed to his, the flesh, the other flesh, reap corruption. But he that sowed to the spirit, the other spirit, of the spirit, reap life everlasting. That was one of my first mission site scriptures that I had at church. And even to this day, still sticks with me. Even to this day. So only what you do for Christ's sake is what's going to last. If you're out here trying to do something and get big and get popular and, and boast or whatever for your own self-righteous agendas, that's not going to last long. It's not. But when you're doing something for, the, for God, mission, and his cause and his purpose, it will last. Life everlasting, as the scripture just said that I just stated, that I just recited. It will last forever because you're doing it for his purpose. And like I said, his will will be done. So I just truly thank God today you are. On a Wednesday, I thank God. You know, um, so... <clears throat> Let's get this patrol going. I appreciate you, Proverbs Gaming, man, for uh, being here. I'm going to uh, mute the uh, Spotify like I always do. I'm going to keep listening to my church music for sure. But let's jump off into this patrol, man, and uh, see how this patrol goes. My boy, Officer Patch Thompson. Thank you all, man. Thank you all. Again, don't be no cowards, man. Give God praise. Give God praise. All right. Let's do this. What is up, everybody? This is your boy, Firefighter1517, signing in. And we are back with some Elevator Spring Road play. I got my boy, Patch Thompson, here. Yeah, we was in the Weezer News. We was up for snitching and giving up all the information. I was just playing. I was just playing. 
But we was in in the uh, interview room here. We had some uh, getting interviewed or whatnot uh, on live news, Weasel News, um, about some things that may come up a little bit later uh, throughout uh, the storyline of things. So we're not going to reveal what that was all about, but we're going to get back out here and get back on patrol. Uh, everything has been approved. Uh, by the uh, chief of police for past times to come out here and obtain this interview. There's some things that has been going on within the uh, uh, the police department, just within the city of uh, Los Santos. So we've been having to get some things set in place for that. And uh, there has been some investigations and stuff going on as well. So He's just been asked a few questions live on television. So, you know, he got that going for himself. Hopefully he did good. But only time will tell, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be in this 2010. 2010 Dodge Charger for today. It's patrol. Well, tonight's patrol since it is nighttime right now. It wasn't that when we came in, but it is that right now. So for tonight's patrol, we will be in this 2010 uh, Dodge Charger. As you can see, this is a real 2010 Dodge Charger. It's kind of like if somebody fat was just in the vehicle, has just got the wheel wells, just kind of leaning real low and all that good stuff, looking real raggedy like. But, you know, I digress. Put our seatbelt on. Let's get up on this patrol, man. See what we got. We was going to do something with the uh, radar trailers today, but I ain't feel like doing a whole haul around with that. That's something that I probably would do when I get more traffic units involved in the uh, server to where we can have them kind of set up a few different uh, radar uh, trailers and we we'll say areas that we have civilian complaints of speed in most in. But other than that, man, we just gonna kind of wing it out a little bit and the way he's driving already. Well, I mean, I ain't gonna say the way he's driving already. He's using his blinker and all that. He's probably changed his mind on Forty six. Oh, that's that car up here. We ain't gonna pull it over for that right now. We're gonna kind of follow him a little bit. Hey, don't be a stranger, yeah. See if he give us some uh, better probable cause that we can actually tag onto this vehicle. I'm not seeing the signal on that turn there. Homie, homie, tell me something. Is he trying to dip on me? Let's go ahead and stop him real quick. I don't know if he's trying to dip on me or what. All right. Gotta find my foot pedal here. 761 traffic is going to be in the uh, parking lot near the uh, Go and Wash Southeast 837 Davis Avenue on a uh, four door van occupied one time. Going to be about golden color. We're going to be a uh, co four. All right, so let's go ahead and try to run this individual's uh, late. Go for See what we got. See what we got. Douglas Dalton. Douglas Dalton. See what we got. Expired fishing license. We're not worried about the fishing license. He's not on water. He's not fishing. What we care about that is absolutely nothing. All right, let's go have a chat with Mr. Douglas. All right. Hello, sir. How you doing? Officer Thompson with the Los Angeles Police Department reached for the stop. It's because of your driving and failing to use a turn signal on that turn over there, all right? I need to see dry lights proof for shorts and registration at this time, please. All right. All right, Mr. Dalton. Hang tight for me, Douglas. Hang tight for me, Douglas. All right. So we got his license. We'll go ahead and... uh. Give him a citation for his indiscretion. And uh, we'll go from there. 
Uh, let's see. Let's go with this one here. And we're looking at about violation of the state statute, 5-13, $400, and one of three points. All right. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. 400 bucks. Set my system up. I'll be advised. I have active 1013s in my area. Can we get some additional units to the uh, campus area, please? All right, uh, we'll check that out right after we get done with the citation. He, he about to get this work. That's for damn sure. So failure to signal right here. And we're doing it based off our uh, state statutes here. So we get that printed up for him real quick. Man, what idiot. All right, I don't think that's AI. But I ain't, oh, let me turn my shot spot on. Let me find out where he's at, at least. Oh, he's over there, all right. Give me a citation, get out of here. Get on this uh, shots, fire. All right, so at this time, you're going to be looking at a $400 uh, fine. All right, I need you to sign it back in the citation. Not to miss you that you're going to pay the fine or appear in court. There's your copy there. Here's your license back. I'm back to my vehicle. You are free to go. All right, let's get on and see what we're going on with this shooting shit, man. I mean, it's consistently, too. 761, you can show me uh, code 4 off of that. I'm going to be 10 8 from that. Uh, one citation. Uh, show me uh, 9723 of uh, the uh, active 1013s in the area. Fuck out the way. We know what we're gonna do. That's, it's showing me where the hot zone is at, so we're gonna get a drone up instead. We're gonna pull somewhere and get a drone up to kind of canvas. It's over on Grove Street area too. <coughs> Let's just get a drone up real quick and see what we can uh, find out from the drone and then we'll go from there. Oh, there it is, okay. All right, this is a drone up in there. Now, I'm not real good with this drone, I'm tell y'all that right now. All right. Do we get any kind of footage around here? See what the hell is going on. All right. Got a, a, a green car just went over there. Right here's where it's saying the shots are coming from. There must be an AI, a local. Too bad don't give me a plate on that car. Let me see here. Actually, do like that green car that we uh How can I uh zoom in on it? Oh wow. Fifty miles an hour. That's why you gotta be trained on this drone shit. I'm not trained on it. <laughs> um, so we gotta get people that know how to throw a drone up in the air. What the fuck, bro? Oh, there he is right here shooting out of the car. Seen that? All right. We got enough on it. See if we can get him stopped. There he is right there. Probably gonna try to take off from us again. Set my 61B advice. I'm trying to catch up to a uh, green two door vehicle, occupied unknown at this time. He's gonna be going down Strawberry. 
a possible active shooter. Be about that lost eyes. All right, so we got that going. That's it. You gotta do some investigation, man. After so much, you can sit around and chase gunfire all day and never find them. By the time they get done shooting, they could be a couple miles away before you get over there. So it's like that ain't gonna mean nothing. Get the evidence, get what you can find, and see if you can trace it to the weapon, find the owner, and then find the owner. You can talk to the owner and see what, what you really got and how you want to pursue and, and go forward with the uh, investigation. This was all about doing uh, good police work. And we already know that uh, Dusty guy over there, uh, the camera guy, we had interactions with him before. So we ain't even going to... Uh, talk to do we're just gonna keep it moving we're gonna keep doing our job and we're gonna keep it going the 761 you can show me uh 10 8 